most dangerous places on the planet. Snake Island in Brazil. There are more snakes on this island than anywhere in the world. And this is where the Bothrop snakes live. They're the world's deadliest snakes. The poison is so strong that if it bites you, you'll be gone in one hour. On the island, there's probably one deadly snake per square foot. But there are people who love nature so much that they take the risk and explore the island anyway. But before I tell you how the snakes got there, I just found a way to make a bunch of new friends by live streaming and the best part is there's zero requirements. And if you want to try live streaming, just press right here. The story goes that a pirate once left buried treasure there and put snakes all over the island to protect it. Four islands that you should never visit. Number four, North Sentinel Island. The indigenous population, also known as the Sentinelese, have been living here for more than 50,000 years and visitors are strictly forbidden by the Indian government. A Christian missionary tried to come and convert them and was executed on the spot. In 1963, after a failed attempt as a rehab center or prison, North Brother Island, located in New York City, was abandoned. It now serves as a sanctuary for birds. Yeah. Emerged from the ashes of volcanic eruption, this small Icelandic island called Circe was formed and is forbidden to any visitors to protect ecological sequencing. In South Carolina, Morgan Island, also known as the Monkey Kingdom, is prohibited by law to visit to protect the 4,000 resus monkeys that reside. Let me know what you guys think. So this little island has been dubbed the most dangerous island to visit on Earth, and visiting is actually illegal. The island rests deep in the Indian Ocean and is protected by the Indian government. They'll actually send helicopters and government boats to patrol the three mile radius surrounding the island, making sure no one visits. The indigenous tribe of North Sentinel Island is the reason why it's illegal to visit and it's not only to protect them but it's also to protect you. There's been numerous cases of outside visitors being killed by the tribe with arrows and spears and probably for good reason. It's believed that the tribe has been living on the island in isolation from the modern world for over 30,000 years and not all of their outside visitors have been friendly in the past. One reason they're probably not friendly to outsiders is this guy right here. We can all thank Maurice Vidal Portman because him and his crew in 1800 decided to visit the island and they pulled some classic colonist moves. So while Portman and his crew were checking out the island, they came across an abandoned village which probably indicated that the tribe moved further into the island to avoid them. But there was some stragglers, an elderly couple with four children. And what does Portman decide to do? He has his crew kidnap them. So yeah, he kidnaps them and then takes them to Port Blair where they all get sick and then the elderly couple dies and then they decide to take the four sick kids back to the island and drop them off with a pile of presents. They have no idea whether those sick kids got more people sick on the island and if any of them died, but yeah, I could see why they probably don't want any outsiders. However, there was one peaceful encounter with the tribe in 1967 when an anthropologist and his crew were able to row close enough to the island and they started to throw out coconuts into the water as a gift because they knew that those don't grow natively on the island and it seemed to go well and they seemed to gather up all the coconuts. There's actually some footage from this day and you can check it out on our YouTube channel. And in 2018, this guy, John Chow, was an American missionary trying to spread Christianity to the island and hired some local fishermen to illegally row him over to the island. He was able to get onto the beach, but was quickly met by spears and arrows from the tribe and was killed. Personally, I think we should leave them alone and not try to push any of our religion or modern things on them. They seem happy as is and have been for thousands of years. And it's pretty awesome and iconic that something like that still exists, that there's a tribe that kind of sees things as it was thousands of years ago. What do you guys think? I lose my senses tonight. I might lose you. I might lose you. Join me in this endless night. I might know you. I might know you. Think I want. Oh no matter. Think I want. Oh no matter. Just like want. Oh no matter. Just like want. Just like want. Oh no matter. Just like want. Just like boom, 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 Just like boom, 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 boom.
Places that are forbidden to visit. Australia's secret Heard Island. Heard Island is a place that no human has ever laid eyes on. The Australian government forbids it and makes it illegal. It's in the middle of the ocean between Australia and Antarctica. So even if you were allowed to visit it, it would be extremely difficult. There isn't much known about the island except that animals that live there are unique to the area. There are two active volcanoes and the largest mountain in Australia is on this island, along with many glaciers. It's essentially a beautiful pristine wilderness and the Australian government wants to keep it that way without any human contact. There have been attempted expeditions to this island, but the Australian government has shut it down. Like and follow for more videos like these. Across the Farmington River in Liberia, there's an island that has been given the nickname Monkey Island. It's called this because over 60 violent chimpanzees live there, all of whom are infected with various different contagious diseases. The YouTube channel Motherboard made a documentary where they went to Liberia and found out why these chimpanzees were on this island. They met up with Betsy Brotman, the former director of Vilab, an animal testing site established in 1974 that tested cures for diseases like hepatitis. After the site was closed in 2005, the remaining chimpanzees were put on an island where they could live out the rest of their lives. While there is a core staff of people that feed the animals, the chimpanzees are still very vicious and will attack and most likely kill anybody that is unfamiliar to the island. For this reason, only a few people are allowed onto the actual island, and even they don't go very far. Picus Island, Penang, Malaysia. The mysterious island is often confused by the area on the Penang Island, also known as Pulau Tikus. It's a relatively small island that has a beautiful golden sandy beach, a solar-powered lighthouse, and even a shrine. Locals claim that the island itself is cursed haunted and is guarded by unseen guardians. Its distance is approximately 2.17 kilometers from the Tanjung Bunga Water Sports Center. You can access the island by kayaking to the island and back at the Water Sports Center. Although once there you will stumble upon a small greenhouse. This greenhouse is actually a shrine. It contains the grave of a Muslim man, who is worshipped not only by Muslims, but Buddhists and Hindus too. Terrifying islands that you can't visit. One Runet Island. 62 nuclear weapons were tested on the Runet Island Doe. Two North Brother Island. In the 1950s, over 1,000 people died due to the outbreak of smallpox. Across the Farmington River in Liberia, there's an island that has been given the nickname Monkey Island. It's called this because over 60 violent chimpanzees live there, all of whom are infected with various different contagious diseases. The YouTube channel Motherboard made a documentary where they went to Liberia and found out why these chimpanzees were on this island. They met up with Betsy Brotman, the former director of Vilab, an animal testing site established in 1974 that tested cures for diseases like hepatitis. After the site was closed in 2005, the remaining chimpanzees were put on an island where they could live out the rest of their lives. 
While there is a core staff of people that feed the animals, the chimpanzees are still very vicious and will attack and most likely kill anybody that is unfamiliar to the island. For this reason, only a few people are allowed onto the actual island, and even they don't go very far. Three more creepy islands that you'll want to avoid. Number one, Dead Man's Island. The name alone should be enough to freak you out, but what really makes this island creepy is the supposed story behind it. Apparently there was a war between the northern and southern tribes of this island. The southerners captured 200 northerners and killed them on the spot. The next morning, flaming fire flowers had grown where the bodies were. The southerners fled the island in horror. Number 2, Socotra Island. What's interesting about this island is the unique and kinda spooky animals and plants that live there. It's home to 300 plants, 27 reptiles and 6 bird species which are all unique to that island. Number 3, Palmyra Island. At first glance, this island might actually seem quite beautiful. Well, behind this island's good looks are tragic deaths, bizarre happenings, pirate attacks, and secret military use. This has caused even the most rational people to believe it's cursed. 